teacher Mara here, and this is one for all those itty bitty babies. Grown ups, you may have noticed that when your little one's lying on their back, maybe during clothing changing time or diaper time, that they've started to kick those little legs. So we are gonna give them some target practice so they can practice kicking those legs. And I have some different items here that you can use for target practice with your little ones. So step one, get your little one onto their back. You can start out just kind of gently tapping their feet with the palms of your hands and see if you can get them to press back. And then you can start bringing in some other objects as well. I recommend starting pretty big. So something like a pillow is a good place to start. It's got a nice big surface area for your little ones. And it's a nice soft uh, tactile sensation as well. So that's a fun one to start. You can bring in a sound element as well with some larger objects. Maybe you have a drum at home and let your little one kick those feet against the drum. Again, maybe gently tapping their feet first and then see if they'll respond with a tap of their own. If you don't have a drum, that's okay because cake tins and pie tins work really well too because they make this great sound when your little one makes contact. So get a little bit of sound play in there as well. Another option is to bring out a rubber ball. This is fun because of the bounce that it creates. Your little ones will be able to kind of feel their foot bounce off of this bouncy ball. So again, maybe a little tap tap here and there and see if they can tap back. And lastly, if your little one's getting really advanced, you might want to try some smaller props. Um, I have a little toy here on a string, so maybe dangling that down by the feet and see if they can give it a little tap. I also think anything, again, just like the drum or the pie tin, anything that makes a sound is great because you get that cause and effect, right? I make contact, I hear a sound. So I also have here a bell tied to a ribbon or a, a scarf. You could also do a shaker, a rattle, anything you like. And when your little one kicks, they'll hear the sound. So have fun trying this uh, target practice out. And as always, you let your little one dictate when they are tired. If they seem a little overstimulated, let them take a break and do some more target practice later on. Have fun.